what uh, Sandy did in Kitty Hawk. And now the eastern shore of Virginia is feeling some of the effects. The worst still to come. Ten on your side's Ali Lucia spent the night there and shows us how folks are bracing for the storm. Just about high tide here on the seaside in Wachapreeg, and I'm joined by Fire Chief Jeffrey Pitts. And Jeff, what are you uh, seeing? Can you just tell us what you've seen so far since you guys have been here? What we're looking at is monitoring the tide to make sure it doesn't get too high. So we, if it gets up any farther than it is now, we will have to pull our equipment out and put it out on the street up on high ground. Last year in the storm, it was up to the doors of the fire station. So now, uh, fortunately, it looks like it's stopped now and starting to recede. The wind shifted to the northwest some, which will help blow it out of here. So uh, it looks like we won't have to pull the equipment out this time. But uh, that's why we bought ground on high ground, and that's why we're looking to build a new firehouse to get it out of the flood zone. From what you've seen so far, you seem to be kind of in good spirits at this point. Um, but are you concerned at all, at, especially as the storm picks up? They're saying there could, it could be the worst in the next 24 to 36 hours for this area. It depends on where you are on the shore. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, if the wind shifts to the northwest, the northwest wind blows the water out. So if that tide is stopped now, then we're looking at uh, possibly having this as our maximum tide. Mm -hmm. Once the wind comes around the northwest, the tide this evening will not be as bad because the wind holds it off. It'll be worse on Bayside because the wind will be blowing the water into the, into the shore on the Bayside. But for us on the seaside, the worst as far as tidal flooding is probably over if this continues to recede as it is now. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. That's Fire Chief Jeff Pitts, and we'll be giving you updates from all over the eastern shore. But he says so far things are looking good here in Watcher Creek. Ali Lucia, 10 on your side.